doing this already. Right now, now Lauren Bobkin, up now, Lauren Bobkin. coming up. They have the ability to adjust this event, unlike uh, a number of others, like the rings or the horizontal bar. They do have some options as to how they set the bars. Uh, they have the option of using a board to mount on the parallel bars, and each one has their own uh, peculiarities of how they like to have the bar set. Some like more chalk, some like less. I was just looking over at the judges' table. It looks to me like that's Danny Godet who used to compete uh, nationally for Canada, now judging. That's right. Uh, we've been trying to keep uh, our national stream athletes in the sport, either uh, judging or coaching. There he is and, uh, on the far right. Dan's made the jump to judging, and he's been an, ex an excellent judge here. It's good to see them get into it at that age. Uh, that's right, we need to keep the talent in the sport and uh, keep the caliber high in, in terms of the administration of the sport too. All right, here we go with Lauren Bobkin. Lauren's a gymnast I really like watching. He's stylish, his long body uh, makes his swings look even that much better. Smooth mount, back straddle cut, press up in the handstand. That's that full turnaround one arm, done twice in succession, which makes the second one even that much harder to do. Now to the sidebar, a straddle kip, moves to one bar. This press is difficult to do on that one bar. Lauren does it well. Nice high back somersault between the bars. And a second back toss. Double back, slight step. Nice smooth routine for Lauren Bobkin. Kind of tough to find fault with a lot of that. Well, one thing to watch, uh, watch the hand placement. Often they have a little bit of movement of the hand if they haven't caught the bars quite the way they want to. Here he's moving to the side, does his straddle kip. He doesn't quite uh, lock it out in the horizontal position. Goes a little bit over, but then comes back. He would have liked to hold that handstand a little bit longer. So they're all just very minor deductions. But at this caliber, the minor deduction is the one that makes the difference. There's this nice back somersault between the bars. Double back, a little bit too much uh, split on his knees. But uh, overall, nice smooth routine. And then a 9.55. So that will move him 5 one hundredths ahead of Dave Bardani in the first place.